Hello guys, Matt and Ali here, and a big thank you to all of you for choosing to get your gaming news here at Livewire. In today's video, we'll be discussing the latest for Honor trailer, and more specifically, the new complete class teasers for each faction. And guys, if you are enjoying this content, please hit that like button. Let's see if we can hit, oh I don't know, ONE BILLION! Actually, more like 50 likes, yeah? Every like really helps, so fuck it, we love it. Come on, come on, show the love. So let's take a look at all the classes from For Honor, which is coming up straight after this. So guys, we've been treated to another beautiful For Honor trailer. What did you guys, mm -mm. what did you guys think overall about the classes and things? Dude, new class video, it's awesome. Pretty gay, if I'm being frank. No, that's that's well nice. <laughs> I thought it was probably the best trailer hey, Gay says so happy. far. I'm saying I'm pretty happy about it. They added a lot of classes, a lot of diversification across the weapons and the types, across all what you'd assume are cultures. I mean, <laughs> a Japanese guy that big of a massive cudgel. Not gonna exactly say it's cliche. Uh, it's definitely <laughs> he's not, a sumo. not he's cliche. Definitely my point. not a sumo. It, Exactly. It's like, <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not one trained in the great subtle art of like battling <laughs> over people's. You know the move that every samurai does in this game where they sort of like yeah. roll over the back of the other guy and sort of Yeah, I don't think he'll be doing that. If he that. does that, he crushes them and kills them. <laughs> one shot. Head. One shot crush, yeah. Basically belly flops of his back. Oh, right. Right, night stand. Okay, we've seen a lot of the night stuff like we've just mentioned that we already knew about, the stuff that we wanted to see, but we've seen a lot of things that we didn't know about that look like they're going to be fun as well from the trailer. So, we learned about some new things and their big shiny weapons and got a small insight into how the game wants us to play them, but I suppose we can make it up for ourselves. I mean, don't know about you, I'm going to go for the high DPS uh, big cudgel <laughs> guy, clearly, because gonna, I'm going to go him, but only play counters. Never go on the <laughs> offensive, always counter with it, because yeah. nothing counters better <laughs> than enough. a mace. But, um, but, uh, which, which one are you Actually, talking about there? Actually, if you play the outfit, it's fucking guy? true. Who's that? Oh, I was thinking more about the Japanese guy there again, but I'm really obsessed with that guy <laughs> okay, now, so I want him. But the first... the knights, regardless. <laughs> anyway, back to the knights. <laughs> the first knights um, character that we saw is like the large halberd wielding knight. Like yeah. the really cool looking helmet and this, that big fuck off weapon. That's the one that everyone in the comments has been wanting to see. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like the cliche big bastard knight, ain't it? Okay, so we got the large halberd guy, we also got the shield and flail uh, wielding guy which apparently has a charge ability to knock back an enemy, which I'm guessing he uses his shield predominantly to do that, and then just yeah. Yeah, looks fucking cool. swing and gyrate with the flail and hope it hits something. A flail, a flail class is like another one that everybody wanted to see, so it's good that they included it. It's yeah. as if they just watched all our videos and included all the ones that we wanted to see. Oh, I think they did. I do think we are due some commission there, but <laughs> all things aside, me and David seen a similar, not the flail class, but we've seen the mace class, and we played the alpha, which... Technical test. Fun. <laughs> or pre-alpha technical test, whatever you want to call it. And yeah. yeah, it was OP. It was so OP. Oh yeah. Couldn't block it. I mean, to be that fair, in real life, it's kind of hard to predict how yeah, a chain's going to swing. Yeah, because it's swinging. You don't know if like it's going to come at your left or your right. If it's a sword coming at you yeah. from a certain yeah. angle, it's kind of easy to predict. Block it with a sword. Imagine you're doing this IRL. If it's a yeah. flail, you're like, well, if he shifts his body weight just a tiny bit, that could yeah. undercut my blade and just crack me in the jaw and kill it me. It was really hard to predict. Oh, that's cool. It's cool that they included that kind of game style in it. Yeah, yeah you'll get fucked. I mean, you you get that with the other ones. You we'll, we'll go into that in a minute. Yeah, okay. I suppose. Uh, along with that, we also had like the assassin, jewel dagger thief class, assassin's key, Dexio auditory homage <laughs> that we. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, loads of backflips and all this Request cool stuff. Get in patchy. Yeah, I loved it that they could do flips. I thought it was so cool. Yeah. Can you actually do that in game? No, you you do you don't like. It happens in it happens in the game, but it's like uh, you don't get control over it. You just in the natural. Oh, okay, doesn't. I thought it was like. Uh, well, I thought it was like attack. an ability. I don't think there's a button. Oh, that's for a it. shame. Yeah, so, well, maybe it is. Maybe if it's you're like... just mashing the attack button, like the light attack button, I'm pretty sure it just flips okay. over. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, so like it's it's animation as opposed to like a yeah. uh, uh, a feature. I, I don't think there's an actual button for it. I could be wrong, but when I play it, it like a really cool I thought it might be more like the uh, dodge button. Only it's just the dodge for like an uh, agile guy like him could be a flip, where it's well, like a heavy guy's more of a sort of a, a roll or a step yeah. back as opposed. Step to, high. Yeah, I think that'd make could more be. sense in this anyway. True. But you think he's are happy with what is presumably for now and for a good long time until they ever do DLC if they will, which I'm sure they will. This is Ubisoft, money, money. <laughs> Are you happy with the night selections that we've got? Feel like there's any huge gaps that are maybe obvious things that you'd have liked to have seen? Uh, like, I mean, there's. I know they don't really like ranged weapon ideas in this game, but for the tech that's there, it could I mean, be something. I that think that's the only there. thing. I think they've done a good fan service with 
the classes that they have yeah. put in. They've put in a lot of what people have been commenting that they have wanted. Definitely. But yeah. I would have liked to see just like a ranged ability for some of these classes. Yeah, mm. maybe not a ranged fighter, a ranged ability. But yeah, it certainly be useful. I mean, the yeah, dagger the guy who can bring in is the easiest one. Why not have a throwing dagger? Like, surely that's uh, like a given. Well, I mean, they're tiny anyway. Like, and even if you made it more difficult by making you have to go pick them up again, but that would be cool. But um, we do have um, the, one of the Kinsai, um classes. Yeah, he does the the arrows, right? He, he has the really? he has the arrow storm ability. Arrow storm. And, um, he has a throwing knife as well, called uh, <laughs> something or other. <laughs> well, we'll cut, we'll yeah. cut bring to that in a minute anyway. <laughs> bring it on the but screen. yeah, I mean, that's the nights in a nutshell. I mean, if you want to, we kind of want to know what your favourite is, so let us know your favourite along with any other classes that we cover as we go through the video. And that leads us swiftly on to David's pride and little His absolute favourite in class. Yes. Wowie Wobon! Oh, baby. So we had the. Obviously, we've got the raider, we knew about that already. He's got the big battle axe. Uh, we knew all about his abilities and stuff just from watching the other videos from E3 and stuff. Compensate. But we've also got the. It's been revealed about the new Berserker, which was in the technical test, the guy with the dual axes. And yeah, from, from the technical test, I would say he was pretty good. I mean, when you're. When you're trying to defend against them, it's kind of like the guy with the mace from the knights. It was almost impossible because he's got two knights. If you get two axes, you don't know which side he's going to attack from. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Mm. Could be left or right. I mean, so it's like, where do you where do you put your sword is that to? Not counted I've seen that. Seen harder to block. Like he finds it harder. Well, to block. yeah. But with these berserker guys, they just go all out crazy on you, and you yeah. it's just so hard. Okay, fair enough. I will say, I like, they just literally hack and slash much. you, and you just have to stand there and take it until you die. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will say they were not as popular in a technical test and other things that I've seen. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, people will prove it in the comments if they think he's the more popular one and one that they like more, but I will say I did not play him myself at all, <laughs> no. really. Me as a Viking, I, I tried him out and then I just went straight back to the Raider yeah. guy, because yeah. that's just so, my... I mean, we didn't get much time to play it, so we can't... He's not a noob-friendly guy. We can't say full stop, but... <laughs> Pretty. He's well, not exactly, exactly a noob-friendly guy. It's something you got to kind of warn. <laughs> no. But he's yeah. powerful by the sound of it. <laughs> Sounds like None it could of the be second OP. classes I would suggest are probably new friendly guys. I'd say everyone would start on a standard class yeah, so and then the if you want to, the easier class will be then the heavy and then the harder class I mean the harder class will then be heavy and then the next harder is agile. Because it yeah. does require it, you need to be really good yeah. at battle uh, art stuff. Because uh, imagine so. if you got hit with one of those like, you'd be pretty much dead. You got less armor. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like they talked about in the trailer at Gamescom. The heavy guys do the most damage. So with the revenge feature, which block, which disables people, no matter how many is attacking block, you yeah. from blocking you. Uh -huh. the, ideally, you just want to be the big guy because you could do like three. You could do maybe four attacks as the quick guy. That'll do small amounts of damage. Or you could do one attack in the time <laughs> you've got your revenge against like three people yeah. with a big axe, and chances are you could kill four of them in one hit. Nice. But speaking on people maybe don't have as big uh, weapons, maybe a bit more defensive options if you like to be more conservative, Viking Raider, you've got your Shield and Spear class that we've seen commenters call the Valkyrie class. Uh, I mean, it seems to be able to knock people down and execute them, so like a shield bash to stab. Sort of Spartan style if you imagine that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Bash forward, stab out. Bash forward, stab out, only kind of more in the I ground. I don't seem to sort of vibe for it. Is that deal to be my favourite one that they've shown? So this looks interesting. Really? For the Nip Vikings? Yeah. I like the... I think my favourite is the, uh, the, the one with time. the shield and the short sword. That's the one that everyone in the comments I've noticed we've been really wanting. That's also the one, when I read the comments, that's the one I thought that's the one I'm going to go. Okay. Yeah. I was kind of disappointed to see that not in the technical test, but now. I, now that I've seen that it's confirmed, then like definitely that's the one I'm going to yeah. be. Yeah. Well, it, it's got a nice sort of look cosmetically wise to yeah. it as well. The sword and the shield is like the classic warrior, so it's just... It looks so like a Viking, yeah. I suppose. I like, guess you can kind yeah. of imagine them with those kind of round shields and stuff. I like it, yeah. definitely. But and I'm hoping that with the uh, you know you get the the battle cries, I'm hoping you can like smash your sword against your shield and then run into <laughs> oh, battle. Nice, yeah. so I bet cool. you any money that'll be one of the abilities and it'll rally like the AI minions yeah. that you've got on Yeah, or your are side. you going to like a mad charge after it? It'd be crazy. Uh, that'd be kind of comic in uh, copying the spear class, wouldn't it? Though, because it's a charge, so you want to make. But the Vikings love the charge. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, then have one class that does it all and just change the weapon. <laughs> we kind of saw um. A lot of like the 20 things that you've kind of been talking about from the Gamescom footage, so I was actually thinking about doing yeah. a video on that maybe. Look out for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below if you want to see that. Plug, 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 plug. 
So I'll be happy with the Vikings overall. I pretty much am. I think yeah. they're solid. As I said, my favourite one's going to be the the shield and the short sword for when it comes to actually playing it in the alpha. You say this, well, if, but if you'll probably be shit at them and you'll just stick to your raider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you know, the raider's the backup. Uh, you know. Speaking of classes that we're shit at, uh, here's me talking <laughs> about samurai. <laughs> I love the look and everything so much about them, but fuck me, are they hard to play? They are like I was saying just there. It seems to be, or I'm gonna guess, that the learning curve will be you've got your normal type of class, you've got your heavy class, and then you've got your agile classes, and in that order, ascending to more difficult, because agile classes were a bitch, but that's because it, your gameplay is more pivotal on you being good at countering. Okay. And that yeah. is obviously one of the main aspects of the game, and obviously we haven't really played it much, so... That sure. was difficult. Get... Whereas button mashing with a big axe is easy. If you get good at these classes, though, <laughs> you're gonna be really good. Yeah, my yeah. point being, I think if you get good, particularly at the samurai classes, it'll be really hard to stop you because Definitely, they yeah. favor the paddying and the countering a lot I've seen more. That. And I've they seen are that in quick, comments. and it does make a big difference when you're quick on the battlefield. Yeah. Running back from spawn is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen that in the comments, people even saying samurai could be the, the OP class. Yeah. OP faction anyway. So the first one we've got, the one that we all know about, is the Kensai Large Katana, called the Noded Yachi. Uh, it's the wheel in class for Sina E3. Alright. What did you call it? Nodachi, I don't know. Nodachi! Alright. I don't know. It's funnily enough, <laughs> I'm not fluent in another language other than English. I wouldn't even say I'm fluent in English. But fucking hell, I know that. Yeah, we all but know still, that. I mean, we've seen it at E3, we all know what it looks like, we all know what he expects yeah. to do. He's good, He's this is the staple diet, it's what you want to learn how to do first. But he's actually the bigger Kensai, because yes. we got a return of the, the only assassin class, which seemed to be going away, because they didn't quote an Oni anymore. But in Gamescom, yeah. I noticed that at least somebody mentioned Oni once, I'm not just thinking this up. So yeah, we've got the assassin back, it's pretty cool. They're yep. like the, the, the standard one that has the four knives and the... Reign of Hours, I believe. But I didn't play the technical test, so I don't know. <laughs> I never played the uh, the Samurai, so I don't know either. Uh, technically, me, David, never played the technical test, and we cannot disclose any information on this time about any feelings or any reactions or this gameplay. In fact, anything we've mentioned in this video, cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the next one, then? Go ahead. <laughs> well, we got the large stave slash polearm wielding class that, personally, I want to see, I mean, I'm reading here that someone else here amongst the three of us thinks it's totally badass. I agree. Fucking it just is. reminds me of Avatar and I want to play it so much now. Like, it just, <laughs> I don't care. It's technically a blunt wooden stick. Yeah. I still no, want I had to, to beat I had the shit people with it. I'm pretty sure I had a blade on it at one end. Uh, it does, uh, I can see from the video, yeah, it does seem to have some sort of dagger thing. But mm, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, dagger. Very... it's not like a halberd, like the... No, it's not, they're not going to no. use that bit of the thing to attack, yeah. no. I prefer that, I mean, that, I like that, I like the idea a bit more. I like the idea of like spinning on the pole and kicking yeah. someone and like yeah. doing uh, equivalent damage on my kick that someone would do maybe with a big axe. I like the idea, and that makes you feel like you're actually like some sort of a stealthy <laughs> guy just sort of running up, destroying everyone with your like wooden pole. Like, if you can kill someone with a wooden pole, <laughs> You're big, badass. huge viking raider, you get a laugh <laughs> yeah. and load it over and teabag their face all that you want. That class actually made me kind of almost want to play Samurai, but then I was like, no, I've got to stay true to the knights, but it was so cool. <laughs> yeah. Stay true to the knights that you never played. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I suppose, right? uh, and then ironically, the last person we're going to talk about today is the guy that we probably mentioned the most throughout the video, which is the big fucker from uh, yeah, the cool last guys. Guys. That's what he's called. Like, oh, well, he's pretty much a sumo. Does he have an outright yeah. name? Because I didn't notice one or get. Well, he's just the heavy so far. That's all I mean. Just the heavy. Yeah, 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 it's like Left 4 Dead 2. I think his weapon is called an Adachi, but it's like a club or something. That's what I picked pretty up from much, it. Imagine, imagine a pretty short actual club. Like, if you ever watch the Flintstones, like Bam Bam's Club or something yeah. like that, that's what it looks like. And he's yeah. big. <laughs> he's like, really if big. If you ever played Overwatch, imagine um, Roadhog. Oh, it's Roadhog. But with, like,. It basically looks like it's, it's Roadhog, Roadhog with, with the Islander mask. skin. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It is Roadhog with the Islander skin. Insert picture here for references, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but yeah, he. I mean, I'm sure he'll be quite fun. I bet you he's got the most health out of anyone in the oh, game. Oh yeah, he's got to. Yeah. Like I bet you he's a really big tank, and like I bet you his attacks will be slow. And but and when they hit, they may not be as heavy yeah. as the big war axe guy, but they will be stronger than pretty much anyone else, I'd imagine. Definitely, you see that in the uh, the trailer when he comes down on a guy with that big, huge thing. It's it's crazy. Yeah, breaking bones and back. That's gonna that. hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, I like these. I like the, what's been added in samurai classes more because I feel like it's more wildly vi uh, variated from the other classes. Like, yeah. If you told yeah. me Vikings were gonna add two people that have got shields with varying offhand weapons, I would have said makes sense. Not gonna say it's boring or it's wrong. Just gonna say it makes sense, but it's not getting me wildly excited. Samurai stuff though, I wouldn't have thought of that. And that's why I like yeah, it. No, particularly the last guy. Couldn't afford that. Would not have thought of that poultry because it's not like um, cliche enough if you give me. Yeah. And that's yeah. pretty much what most games go for. Because if you don't go cliche, your fan base gets alienated because they have no idea who the fuck he is. But <laughs> there's plenty of people who will pick that guy and go, he looks badass, I want him just because he's big for a laugh. Yeah. And then they'll enjoy, yeah. they'll end up <clears> playing him. And for the same reason, they might end up playing the Templar Assassins and stuff. Right, is, Templar is that person awesome. your favourite? The what, big guy, uh, the big guy from the samurai. Uh, the heavy man. I like the staff person, just like yeah, you do. Yeah, Peter. He's so cool, though. I think he takes it just because he's, like, leaf and, like, agile in that sense. Yeah, he's awesome. Sweet! But, yeah, anyway, I noticed that these classes, like I was saying earlier, have, like, the counterparts for each faction. Yes. I think this would make the game a lot more balanced. So, like, you yeah, don't just definitely. have, like, the agile people on one side and, like, the knights just, like, dragging their asses to the battle. <laughs> the yeah, because that's, that's what I originally thought it would be like. Yeah, me too. It's going to be a bit unbalanced, but uh, it's good to see they have all the different counterparts in each faction, yeah. Yes. No, you're right. I still think there will be a meta in it, though, for a long time. Yeah. I do hope to God they do updates to sort of balance people based no, on... No, they will, they will. Yeah, yeah that's, that's I hope still so, part of games development. I don't want it to be a game that doesn't really get dynamically updated to that because then it's really unfair and it's boring and you go in a match and it's like nine samurai and one warden or some shit if let's say that was it but yeah. anyway join with our discussion we love to feedy craft and talk at more length with everyone in the comments so please post all your ideas and thoughts below even if it is to the point out our mistakes which i'm just saying are all matt's fault he writes the scripts noobs do you even for honor mate but yeah, we look forward to talking to as many of you as we can. Until that next video then guys, I've been Matt. David was here too, but he didn't do his outro. And I've been Ali from Livewire, and we will hang out soon. But you need not go away, you can instead click on in our faces to get to know us a little better. Or click here for our entire Throne and News playlist to catch up. Or click here for our full series on Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands News. All links from the video are provided in the description box below for all you mobile viewers out there. Until the next one then guys, see ya!